Hello everybody, welcome to the Crypto Business Podcast brought to you by Tokenmines. I'm your host, Rob Igram, Director at Tokenmines, a full service crypto NFT agency. In this podcast, we are discussing any blockchain topic that is relevant for businesses, entrepreneurs and founders. Today, uh, the topic is the roles and permissions to use for NFT Discord servers and as well how to use the Discord server boost feature. I have in the podcast with me today, Anchor, who's a veteran crypto and NFT marketeer. Uh, and um, Anchor, yeah, please take it away. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, these topics? Hi, uh, everyone. Thank you for joining this uh, podcast. Um, so yeah, for this, uh, I think in the last episodes where we talk about uh, the Discord, like the, some giveaways and all the setup of channels. And uh, today we'll mainly cover like some other important things like the permissions of the different right members, the groups, roles. Um, so once we start, you know, the community, for sure, this is very basic. So we will have like a list of different right uh, roles, like no matter for <clears throat> normally it's for like uh, either team or like admin and then follows with like uh, head mods and moderators. Or maybe some channels will also hire some like mod, uh, trial moderators, and then comes with the mem normal members. Um, that's like level by level. They have different access. For example, the team will have access, and then uh, for the members, sure they can access some channels like general chats, like uh, announcements. Uh, 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 and uh, in some channels they can type, and in some channels they can uh, invite. And uh, for example, the announcement. Um, and giveaways, those channels actually for uh, some roles like general members and moderators, they only have access to visit, but they cannot type anything. Um, so, for example, and also some other settings like uh, setting up the, the, uh, the permissions like uh, people can uh, invite and also to uh, react actions or something like that to any posts. So in general, that's it's it's very important. If we set anything wrong here, there'll be um, there'll be uh, uh, really not really good and harmful for the projects because I actually know some projects that wrongly set you know the permissions. So people even can um, fake the accounts to uh, to announce something, especially that is risky during the meeting day. So that is very important. Um, and also for the others, uh, there is also some bots actually to react to some emojis to uh, auto assign the roles. For example, uh, many projects will do something like um, giveaway participants or Twitter uh, notifications. Uh, if uh, the team or the admin post or something that reacted to the emoji, they will auto uh, uh, assign that, those roles and they. Uh, the team only need to add the this kind of roles to get these people notified but by any like new announcement twitter giveaways um so make everything's organized um and also something else like uh, it's not only for those uh tester chat it's also for some voice chat as well because in the community there might be some people like from different countries uh, for example, some countries like uh, uh, normally the, the project will all have a Chinese uh, Chinese chat. They will have English chat and also German and uh, French, etc. So in, uh, in this case, um, normally we also set like uh, suggest to set like some different languages chat uh, room that so we only allow a certain kind of group of people with the text of different uh, you know <clears throat> countries. By doing this, uh, people auto sign to the different countries. They have the tag on their role, and then they can join these different uh, international chats, voice chat, um, which is also important because, uh, like we mentioned in the last uh, episodes, you know, for this different language, multi language chats is is very important, and also the voice chat can really get more hype in the, uh, in the community, um, and uh, people will treat the the community as a family. Uh, so it's very important. Um, so yeah, that is the importance of the the roles and all these permissions. And uh, normally, we'll suggest other project teams really to get uh, an expert tech guy for those. Uh, no matter for uh, those we mentioned for the bot setup, but also for those permissions, because there are so many like permissions for every role you need to choose and pick up. 
and make sure that they're really uh, forbidden to a certain uh, per perms, uh, permission and uh, access to uh, those really uh, necessary ones. And if there's one thing that really um, didn't work well, there'll be, um, you know, not good for the project goals and you need to spend a lot of time to fix in that because it's really a lot of uh, fields that you need to check and to make sure that this will not happen. Um, so yeah, this is all about the permissions part. Um, and also one thing, I think this is also very important for the project to get some more like, uh, you know, awareness is that uh, they are the boost of the server. Uh, many projects will do this themselves because for the server boost, like uh, uh, there are max like level three. If you actually can boost, like, get reach to 14 boosts, you can reach level three. Uh, and this is actually monthly, um, monthly uh, renewed. So as soon as you renew every month, there will be level three always. Um, and by reaching level three, uh, what you can get is you can get actually the customized background of the server. You can get a customized uh, option for the invite page. You can put a really high resolution of uh, the graphic when people click and uh, see that the invi invitation page. And also, it is also other like a lot of <clears throat> a lot of functions like um, you can add like uh, over fifty or, or over fifty server images if you reach level two and even 100 more if you reach level three though a lot of projects will not do so many images but it's really very useful so people can use that images to, to integrate and talk uh, with each other uh, those uh, projects made the images and also the uh, it offers like over 30 customer stickers uh, slots so for the stickers like some normal ones like we we use like gm gn and uh, you know this kind of things that really make the community very fun this is all small details but it's also very important. All the details combined together make a success. Um, and also, since we normally have a voice chat and also might be some music bots, right? Uh, like I mentioned in the last episode. So it also offers and enabled the 384K PBS audio quality. So uh, people can enjoy like listening to some music there in the voice chat is also very clear and people actually talk to each other. And uh, in my personal opinion, that for this level three like uh, things, it is for that uh, custom invite link. So it, it's called vanity link. For example, normally for the invite link is consists of different characters or numbers. Uh, but if uh, upgraded to level three, that you can customize your link to your own project name, and uh, which it looks more professional. Um, and also the, the uploading of the files, so you can upload over 100, uh, 100 MB uh, megabytes and uh, the animated banner server, uh, banner server banner and also an uh, animated logo for your project. This is all what Level 3 can bring you. Uh, and once the server grows bigger, um, you know, there will be also a lot of boosters that uh, contribute to the server, that boost the server itself. Thank you, Anchor. Really appreciate your input. <clears throat> a lot more things to discuss here, but I'm sure we do that in future episodes. Thanks everybody for listening and watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.